All right. Hello and welcome to Morning Code and Coffee. Uh, this episode is basically a repeat of the first one. It's going to be the React uh, traffic light exercise, except this time, as you can see, I already have just the basics here. Uh, we're going to be using a class based component. Um, so it's a little different, but I wanted to do the compare contrast because it is just one of those things like, why use hooks? It's new, maybe it's scary, and you're not sure what's going on. Um, so if you saw the first video, you understand how that works. And this one is just um, not wrong. It's not deprecated. It's just a different way of doing things. And class-based components have you know their place still. Uh, they haven't been completely replaced by hooks. But um, yeah, let's get into it. I have the basics, as you can see. Um, I have you know just to give the page. Uh, class name, so we just center everything, and then the container, which is like you know the light assembly, and you can over see over here uh, the light itself is already ready to go. Now what we don't have is the light component. Light.js. We're going to import that from React. And then from here, we're going to do just a function component because the class-based component is, we're just gonna handle that in the, the other side in the app. I'm going to return just a single div. I'm going to return a single div uh, with the class name. Hang on, what is happening? <laughs> Learn to type date. All right, with a single, single div, class name of light, and then we have this. We have to, of course, export it. Default light. All right, so the zoom bar just floated over the top there. All right, let's go back. Oh dear. Okay, so back on this side. Now, in order to put it on the page, we need to import it, of course, right from light. The dot slash denotes like an actual file versus um, you can see above from React, that's a, a module. Light, and then we're going to put it right over here. Right. Cool. Now we have the one to get multiple components of this light. Uh, I actually did it ahead of time because this is the second time recording this video because the current statement didn't work. Now to map over. Yeah, let's just steal the whole thing. Boop. Cool. So this is the uh, mapping uh function that will return a couple of lights now what do we need we need according to this some state with colors to do that we're going to add in constructor with props and we're going to call super props and this dot state equals an object colors will be an array we have red, yellow, I can type. Cool. Hey, look at that. Oh, I don't know why it does that. But now what's happening is the map function, whatever it is here, it has to be an array and it will map over it and just return um, a copy. Basically, you just, I don't know how to put, I don't know how to define map. Uh, creates a new array, right? Okay, so then basically in this return statement, it's returning an array uh, with three positions. Uh, each one has you know, the light component in it, which is why we see the three circles here. And then uh, let's pass through some data. Now, I'm that person who, <laughs> I 
calls the prompt uh, and the value, the key and value, I guess, um, call them the same thing. Because for me, it's easier. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can call them whatever you want. Assuming, you know, when you, because you're passing it in, you have our props. Now, to pull, instead of saying, um, uh, just passing in props and then saying props dot color, for example, I like to destructure. Oh my God. The, uh, the zoom bar just keeps floating down um, color, right? So we're going to pull color out of here. And we're going to put in a style prop. And it's a, it's a, it takes an object. So there's the you know, squiggly brackets, um, which denote JavaScript, uh, but then the object. So background color and in React, it has to be camel cased. Call it color. And it, whoop, it's out there for a second, reload, and there we go. But we don't want them on all the time. Uh, at least all three of them. One is fine. So the next bit of state we're going to call active light. And we're going to set it default to red, which we can then pass in active light. This dot state dot active light. And then I gotta figure out how do I move this. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna move the zoom bar so it's not in my way anymore. Okay. And then we can pull that out over here. And now we have access to active light. Um, so we're gonna use a ternary operator. We're gonna say um, active light triple equals color. So what it'll do is compare um, the active light from state over here to right, the mapped over color that's passed in over here. So that's right, right here. So first one's going to be red, as you saw, yellow and green. And it's not happy with us. So if they are the same, make it that color. If they're not the same, see in a moment, they'll be gray. Of course, it doesn't have the ability to click on anything yet, but we can do that with this const. And we'll change. Dot set state. Oops, <laughs> getting out of myself over here. Fat arrow function. Uh, this dot set state method that takes an object. We're going to set active light to color. Now, like I said, <laughs> I like to call things all the same so they're just, um, you know the same and you don't have too many things being passed around. And here's one example, <laughs> sorry, but this is just a placeholder. It has nothing to do technically with this. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pass down the handle change. Again, me calling everything exactly the same, I'm sorry. Pass down handle change, right? So now we have the method available as a prop. Let me go back into light. We pull that out, handle, change. Cool. From here, we're able to put an onClick function into each one of these. So we just say onClick equals, and we want to make sure that it doesn't that it doesn't fire automatically. So we're going to do a little anonymous fat arrow function. And we're going to call this handle click. Now, 
what do you want to pass into that method, right? We're going to, it's going to go up with some data and we want to send that data. Well, we want to send that method with this data, the color, right? So it comes from here. Like I said earlier, it's, sorry for naming everything exactly the same, but um, now let's define the handle click. Equals. Okay, here we go. So we have our handle change. We're going to put it in the handle click. Oops. Handle change, passing in color, and that comes from here. Okay. So yeah, I should probably not use the word color so many times because some of these, like this, can be whatever I want. Um, this needs to be color in this method here, this this handle click call, because it comes from here. Ugh. I know, I'm sorry, don't hate me, but it does work. And that's all. I'm going to close this down. You've probably been looking at it long enough. Oops. And now you have the two side by side. Uh, let's see. I actually need to open another one of these. So we can put the two side by side. We have our class-based component now, and I hope you don't see too much. <laughs> so let's bring it over here. Morning code and coffee, traffic lights, select folder. There we go. All right, now we're gonna have a code side by side, right? But, uh, I didn't want that. I wanted this one. Yeah. Okay. So the light and the app side by side. Get rid of that. Move this over here. And the methods are slightly different. I do realize that. Uh, and then I called things differently, but you have your similarities, right? Your on click is the same, class name is the same, the styling setup is the same. But then the biggest thing, I'm gonna close the light components, is this side. You have your class-based class, class -based component, which we just did, and then we have this here, right? So um, instead of using state, I just called over here, I just called it colors, and assign an array, red, yellow, green. So we still map over it, and we still do all of the same things. Um, but the state is now handled by use state, which don't have to call constructor, don't have to call super, don't have to you know say this dot state equals. Um, what this is doing is saying this is the piece of state, and I probably should have called them something different. But this is the piece of state, just like here. Or, sorry, right here, the active light and lit are the same, um, and then the uh, in, in order to, instead of doing all this passing around of methods and functions in the set state, blah, 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 this set lit takes care of all of that. So you can see it's just a lot less code and it's far easier to read what you, when you know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, sorry if that was <laughs> confusing. I'm still new to this talking about code while I'm doing it thing. Um, so bear with me. If you like the video, great. Come back for the next one. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll answer it um, in the comments the best of my abilities. Otherwise, if there are enough of the same questions, I'll probably just make another video about that, explaining it, because that's the whole idea behind this video series. It's just breaking it down, because I've noticed all the tutorials I look at, when you're looking for something uh, that sounds simple, you, you find a video on it, and they don't really talk about it. So um, hopefully we can get a little community going with these videos and just uh, break it down so it's easier to learn. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's see. How do I stop this? Here we go. All right. Take care. See you next time.